hey you guys so today we are going to be doing a half and half tumbler um as you guys can see i already prepped my tumbler and spray painted it where i did was i prepped it um i basically sanded it cleaned it off got it ready and then i spray painted the whole thing white at first and then once my white dried i just took some masking tape just like this and then i just centered it and I just centered it as good as I could and then just pulled it down and then just taped one whole side off. Then I took my pink spray paint and I just spray painted it pink. And that's basically how I got the half and half going on here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to glitter it because I want it to be a sparkly. So I want this side to clearly to be pink um, glitter and I want this side to be like a white holographic glitter. So, for those, I am going to be using Mr. Fancy Pants Glitter. And for the pink, I am using Double Bubble, if you guys can see that. It's a very pretty pink color. And then for the white side, I am going to be using Cloud 9. This is a very pretty white holographic color. And it has hues of pinks and blues in it. And I think it's going to be very pretty. So... For this method, we are going to do the hang method. So I already have my a epoxy mixed up here. And I have 10 mils all together. I highly doubt I'm going to need 10 mils. i never done a 30-ounce skinny tumbler. Um, but we'll see. If not, I always use the extra for my keychains that I make. Or I have silicone molds and I'll use the rest for that. So first thing first, I am going to do my darker side first. So I am going to do the pink side first. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same thing how I spray painted it. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to tape it off. I'm just going to get it as even as I can. And then you guys can see what I'm doing. I just place it in the center on top and then I just pull it down and get it as centered as I can. Then once I have it, I just press it down. And that's the same thing I did when I went to go spray paint it. I just try to get it as centered as I can. Um, I do think I have a little bit more white than the pink, but that's okay because how we are going to style this is gonna basically it's gonna even out so yeah I'm not gonna take the whole white side off because we don't need that so I'm just taping it right on that line and then I'm gonna rip the tape off and we're gonna pretty much make sure it's down pretty good on the top and bottom and now what you're going to do is you are going to make sure everything is open because it's going to get a little messy. So I like to open my glitter beforehand just so I don't have to try to open it once I epoxy everything. So I just glitter that and set it to the side. These are the gloves I'm using. They're nitro gloves. I get them in the first aid section of my drugstore. And now what you're going to do is you're basically going to just dip your finger in your epoxy and you want to do a very thin layer and you're going to cover this whole pink side. And I get it as close to the tape as I can. If you get some on the tape, that is totally okay. And you're basically going to just epoxy this whole pink side. And you want to use a lot of pressure because you do not want a lot of epoxy. So like I said, 10 mils is most likely way too much. I probably only need it about 5. And I use 10 all together, if you're wondering. And you know it's covered when it just glides easily. If your glove is getting stuck and it's hard to pull down, that means you do not have enough epoxy and I make sure I bring it over down to the lip of my cup nice 
push really hard on the top because there is a little indentation and I don't want too much epoxy up there. So once you got it covered good, we are basically going to start glittering. I'm going to remove my glove. I don't need that right now. And I'm going to save it because I'm going to use it for the same thing in the next method. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get my paper plate. And I'm going to unscrew this. This is my dryer rack that I made. I'm just going to unscrew the cup. And we are basically going to just start to glitter. So you have your epoxy covered. Make sure every piece is covered. I see there. And I'm just going to start glittering. I'm going to glitter right over this. This plate. So any extra. Falls right off in here. And I can put it right back into the bag. You could also do the Mod Podge for this, but I I personally like the epoxy method. Whatever works for you, you do. Some people do not like the epoxy method. I personally, I love the epoxy method. I love how it comes out. I think it looks fuller coverage and yeah so now I'm just making sure I get every section covered I just can see how pretty is that color and that's the bottom now we're gonna put it back on our drying rack now I'm gonna put a brand new glove on and since this glitter is a little chunky we want to make sure it's pressed down so when we do our flood coat of epoxy, it's not going to be, it's going to pretty much lay flat and we only need one coat. When you do this, you will get some glitter flowing out, as you guys can see, but that is okay. It's bound to happen. But this, you are just ensuring most of your glitter is laying flat to the cup. You won't have to worry about multiple layers of epoxy. You're literally just pressing it with your hands. And now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the tape. So we could do the other side. And you're just going to pull it. And it should come up. Pretty nicely you should get like a pretty decent straight line if it's not straight we are going to cover that line up in the end so it doesn't have to be perfect just get it as good as you can all righty so now we have one side done and now just taking an old dingy little rag I have and I'm just brushing off the other side. So there is like a little pink fallout. And we just want to get most of that off. And now for this side. To make sure I get like a nice straight line, I'm going to go in with a paintbrush and I'm going to dip this inside of here and this is just so I don't grab any of the glitter and I'm just gonna follow the line
All right, so now that we epoxied this side, we are going to do the same thing. We're gonna unscrew it. See how clean those lines look? Oh! And we're gonna get a clean plate and we're gonna do the same exact thing. And now we are using the Cloud 9 and we're basically, like I said, You guys can see my tumbler is fully coated. I still have the nice strong line. And why I say do the dark color before the light color because some of my white did go over into my pink, but you can't really tell since it's such a light color. We're on this dry for probably like nine hours, and then we I will be back and I will show you guys how I seal everything in. Um basically I let this sit for about 16 18 hours um and then i went in with this it's a krylon crystal clear acrylic coating it's just a clear um clear spray paint and i went over this and i sprayed it about three to four layers on it and the only reason why i did it i don't do this for every glitter i only do it if i have multiple colors of glitter because even though you do the epoxy method it makes the glitter pretty stiff and keeps it in place most of the time. But you will get some little stringly pieces that want to start wandering off and see what else is out there, you know? So you need to seal it. So I like to use this. You can use whatever clear spray paint you want. This is what I have on hand, so this is what I'm using. And then once that dried, I let mine dry for over an hour. Um, you could probably do it within 30 minutes, but I just was busy doing other things. So I let it sit for about an hour and then I came back and then I mixed my epoxy and I use Promarine. Alright you guys, so our cup is now done. It is cured. It's been probably like 20 hours since this has been epoxied. Um, there are a slight bumps but nothing too crazy. Um, as long as the part where our decals are going to go is smooth, that's good. Like this right here is perfect. Um, this part I am not going to sand. It is a little lumpy, but I'm not going to sand it because I'm going to be putting water slide over this. And if you sand and then put on water slide and there's clear parts, when you epoxy over it, the part that you sand is going to be matte. So when you epoxy over it, the epoxy makes the sanded parts back glossy. But since you put water slide over your sanding parts, the parts that are covering up, the water slide part that is covering up the um, sanded areas is not going to be exposed to epoxy. Therefore, you're going to have, you're going to be able to tell where you sand it. So you're going to have a shiny spot and then where your decal is, it's going to be matte. I will be putting a whole water slide right here. So... If I do that, the clear parts, I'm not, it's going to be just a matte part. It's going to be, the whole thing is going to be matte, and I don't want that. So, I'm not going to sand it. I don't think you're going to be able to tell. Like, it's really, if you guys can't even see the lumps. Like, it's just really little teeny, like, little lumps that you can feel sometimes. Like, little pieces of glitter sticking up. But, that's okay for me. If it's not okay for you, um, sand it down. You're going to do another layer of epoxy and do it again. But, I think it's going to be fine. So, yeah, now for the white part, I am going to be putting this marble water slide on it. I already measured how big I wanted it. I just printed it on a full sheet of paper. Um, I do use a laser printer, so I do not need to seal my water slide. I literally just print, and it's ready to be used literally right after it's done printing. Um... This is the laser water slide that I use right here. I haven't had issues with it. I used it, I think, three times already, and it worked fine, so I probably will continue using it. If you guys want to know what type of printer I use, I will link that down below. It is the HP Color Laser Jet Pro MFP M477F8. 
and w if i remember i will try to put it in the description box for you guys and now we are going to put our water slide in here I like to push it down just to ensure all of it gets wet real quick. And then I'll let it do its thing for a little bit. So I'm going to start. I think I'm going to just start. I'm going to just try to get it where I need it to be. And then I'm going to just start to pull this down. And we could just wipe as we go can you guys see that so i'm gonna just pull a little bit at a time and try to get some of the wrinkles out and my washcloth is a little wet just to help with the water slide Okay, there you guys. Um, I kind of want more marble right here. So I think I'm gonna maybe layer it again. All right, so I have my other piece of vinyl. Of vinyl, I have my other piece of water slide and I'm just gonna try to see where I want it. I think I'm gonna probably do it at like a slight angle just to get more coverage yeah i like that and then i'm taking my wet rag and i'm just pressing it out all right you guys so we have a slight problem of course something just always has to go wrong so i recorded me put on the gold flakes here but for some reason my file got corrupted and it doesn't actually show me doing it it's just my voice i don't know what happens so i guess i will just tell you guys what i did and how i did it so for the flakes what you're going to need is you're going to need go flakes these i got off of amazon so i will leave that again in the description box so you guys could just click it and purchase it and then you need a way to put these on the actual tumbler so it needs something to stick to so i actually have this it's called tack it over and over when the whole tack it method became a big thing i ran on amazon and ordered this before it actually sold out so if you have this i would recommend using this if not you could use a like adhesive spray or something um and then what i did was i just poured literally a little bit of this in here probably like two squirts and then sorry about my daughter and then I mixed it with a cup full of water and then I just took a regular paintbrush I dipped it in here I applied it to my area that I wanted it so I applied it a little bit over the pink a little bit over the white and applied it applied it to the bottom and you're supposed to let that dry until it gets tacky. I'm an impatient person. So instead of letting mine manually dry, um, I used a heat gun and I just did it over the section for about 10 seconds. And then when I touched it, it was super tacky, so it was ready to go. So I tried to... So what I did was I took a bunch of flakes out. It looked just like this and just pulled it apart. Um, and I tried to do it with the brush, like dipping my brush on the flakes and applying it. But that didn't go too well. I mean, I guess it depends what type of look you want. As you can see, my gold flakes are pretty flat. It just looks like gold foil on it. Some people just put the flakes on and press it. And they want the chunky gold flakes look. So depends what look you want. I wanted the flat look. So I just, what I did was I just pulled pieces off like this and I laid it on my cup and I used my finger and I just laid it flat just like that. And when you see when you brush it, it's just 
lays it right up there perfectly. All right, you guys. So I have my decals already ready to go. They're on their transfer sheets. And we're going to place them. So on the white part, we are going to be putting Stay Humble, Hustle Hard. I found this image right off of Google. And I just basically added a outline to it, a offset. And I made it into a PNG in Photoshop. So I'm just going to try to get that where I want it. Um, I don't know if I want it. I think I want it closer to the top. And then I'm just trying to measure to get it exactly in the center. And then I'm just going to... Place it. Alrighty. And then I'm going to get my little squeegee thing. And we are just going to rub it down. Okay, you guys, so now we are going to basically do the final layer of epoxy to seal this. And I have 60 mils of epoxy here, 30 of each. You do not need that much for one cup. I'm doing another project after this, so. So for me, I don't like to pour my on. I like to dip my finger and drag it. So that's what we're going to do. And I do half a half. I'll do the top half and then I'll go and do the bottom half. All right, so now we are just going to go in with our torch to get any bubbles that might have came to the top. And then I will basically just watch it like every 15, 20 minutes. Come check on it. Make sure everything's going right. Check for air bubbles. I check for air bubbles about for like the first hour I check because it starts hardening up after that. But after the air bubbles, I'll go through with the torch real quick in the areas. And yeah, especially with the, um, what is it called? Like the metallic lettering. Those like to attract a bunch of micro bubbles. So I usually go over that quite a few times within the first hour. But yeah, that's basically it. Now I'll just, I'll just sit here, work on the other crafts, or oh, if I have nothing else to do, I will sit here and I will watch a TV show. And yeah, I will come back to you guys in the morning. And hopefully this is the final coat. If not, I'll do a little bit of sanding. And we'll do another coat. But hopefully this is the last coat. And so I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. 